Today I need to restring this guitar. Um, it currently has some a very heavy gauge string on it because I've had it tuned down a whole step to D. And I thought it'd be a good opportunity to show you how to change your strings on a guitar with a, uh, well, any electric guitar really, but particularly one with a tunematic bridge, which is one of these bad boys. So you, you might have something like this. So the first thing we need to do is loosen all the strings and take them all off because they're gross. Okay, taking all of these out of the holes on the end. Naturally, people have got their own ways, but the gist is the same. Take the strings off, put the new ones on, tune it up. But if you're new to the guitar, there can be some fear involved in that whole process. So let me remove that fear. Mind out for those sharp string ends when you're taking them off from the tuners. If they're sat around not in a case, they get pretty grimy. You can't even see the Gordon Smith logo on this one because of the dust, which is gross. Sorry about that, guys. So once they're loose, um, this actually, this whole, this tailpiece actually comes off. So you want, what you want to do is you want to pull them through that end tailpiece, the uh, on this tunematic bridge. I have no idea why it's called the tunematic bridge, but if you know, let me know in the comments. Yeah, yeah. So the gist is. I'll just take that off, show you. So this is the bit that sits, it just rests in that place, held on by the tension of the strings. So I've got my new set of strings. Um, obviously, you each guitar will want a different flavour of strings on them kind of thing. I've settled on Ernie Ball Power Slinkies, um, for whatever reason. I've tried lots of other brands, but this is what I've landed on. So the, the gauges are numbered. As the numbers get smaller, the strings get smaller, so obviously um, I would tend to start with the, I mean, it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to start with the highest string because that's what I've always done. So this is my 11, this is going to go on first. Now, just unravel it. So I'm going to put my tailpiece back on here. <laughs> I should have done this on a table, shouldn't I? But um, yeah, I'm going to put that on there. I'm going to feed the string through the hole. And let's just pull it through a second. Then I'm going to feed it through the hole on the tuning peg. Feed it through the hole on the tuning peg here. And then I'm going to start giving it some turns. And then as it gets towards tight, I'll be able to sit it in the slot in the nut. Down there. Right, the next one, I'm going to put the thickest one on now just because it's a tunematic bridge and then uh, the tension of those two strings will keep it on so I can do the rest of it. this video stood up. so. Feed this big fat doozy through the through there at the end. Put that, that big old juicy string through the tuning peg. As you're putting them on, you want to check that they are seated nicely in the saddle here. So they've got little slots on there on the bridge. It's very important that you tidy up after yourself. So this is going to go in the bin. I'm going to tend to make these a little bit safer because of the sharp bits that tend to be poking out. The last thing you want is anyone poking the eye out or or ripping through your ripping through your rubbish bag, ripping through your bin liner. No one needs that, do they? Right. So these things are going to drive me insane if I don't snip them off. Some people wind them up and stuff like that, but I find they're going to poke holes in your gig bag or whatever. So. Uh, Get yourself something to snip them with, some wire cutters. So once you've got the ends of your string snapped off with a decent tool, uh, my first one broke on me, uh, but this one, uh, this one's good. So you want a hard, hard wire cutters and then they'll do the trick. Next step is to tune up. So I'm going for standard tuning. I'm just going to whack this on. I'm just going to go see how far off I am. Uh, now the other thing to do is I I will sort of stretch them a bit. I'll just pull the strings out just a little bit while I'm tuning. Just to get the tension kind of get rid of some of that stretchiness of new strings. So they'll try to stop them going out when you start playing again. Now I tend to mute them here and sort of wiggle them about like
and give them another go. The next step is to chip is to test it with some noodling. <laughs> already hear it going out so